hi all welcome back to our channel in this video it ensures how to create online appointments with odoo 15 calendar module we can generate online appointments based on clients and employees availability and this feature easily avoid the difficulties of scheduling meeting with other clients while clicking on the online appointment tab we can view the created list of online appointments here we can view the appointment name time zone number of scheduled appointments published or not in this window the user can share the link of specific appointment using the share link option here in this campaign view. Now let's look at the steps to create an online appointment. So here we can mention the name in this field. Then we can assign new opportunities for responsive employees by enabling the create opportunity option. Inside the scheduling tab, we can enter the total time for an appointment in the duration field. The minimum schedule hours added inside the schedule appointment section are at least some hours before or not after some days. The user can add the minimum cancellation hours in the allow cancelling field and it shows until some hours before. Then you can add the time zone from the list here. And then we can set the reminders in the form of notification, SMS, text message or email. Later we can set the place of appointment inside the location field. And the employees can be assigned to meet customers on your website with the assignment method. So we can choose a method as random or chosen by the customer. Then we can select the countries you want to restrict inside the restrict countries field and add and it allow the visitors from any country by keeping the field empty. It is possible to set available employees inside the available employee section. So you can add the employees by clicking on the window. After the selection you can view the employees working hours with the name below the available employee section. Below the availability tab we can add the appointment availability in a week. By clicking on the add a line option, we can add the day and start or end hours in the to and from option. So we can choose the days from here. So an individual can schedule the meeting based on the availability mentioned here in this calendar. We can add several questions for a client visiting for our appointment using the question tab. For that we can click on the add a line option and a new questioning window will open here. Here we can provide the question. And then we can choose the question type. So the question type is classified into different categories such as single line text, multi line text, drop down, radio and check boxes. Then we can enable the required answer or note and specify the placeholder as displayed here. So the information about the created question is viewable under the question tab. The user can add the message for appointment introduction and confirmation below the messages tab. So here we can enter the appointment introduction. Likewise, we can also enter the appointment confirmation here. After adding information on scheduling, availability, messages and questions, you can click on the save icon. And you will get a link to schedule a demo online appointment from the meeting window. So you can click on the share availabilities option at the top end of the calendar on the right end. All the created opportunities are viewable here. 
Now let's see what it would be like for customers when they visit your website. So in the website window, you can click on the appointment tab. So here we have the smart tab that is go to website, click on that. Here we can view the all created appointments as displayed here. And here we can see the created online appointments schedule a demo. So click on that and then publish it. So here we can see all the available time for users that we created before. We can choose the date from the calendar and the time uh, visible in the right side. After selecting the time, a new page app appears before you to confirm the details. Now let's look how an appointment made by this particular person takes place on a website. Here we can add the name, phone, email and we can answer the question here. At last, you can click on the confirm appointment button. Here we can see that the appointment has been successfully booked on the new page. We can view the duration, location, uh, attendees information with an appointment message at the top. Then you can push it to Google Calendar or Outlook to get reminders using the add to Google Calendar or Outlook icon at the end. And it is possible to cancel the appointment by selecting the cancel or reschedule icon. Now let's look what happens after an appointment is made at the back end. So we can go back to the Odo 15 calendar dashboard. Here we can see the appointment schedule a demo in this calendar. One appointment is scheduled inside the schedule a demo from this online appointment. So the Odo 15 calendar module helps to manage and create online appointment for business purposes. The user can access the participating attendees for every online appointment and provide their availability to the audience with the Odo 15 calendar module. So that's all about the video. Thank you for watching.